Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is an exclusive first look at SPB Mobile Shell 5.0 for Android. Let's get to it. So this is not yet available, but it will be soon. SPB showed off Mobile Shell for Android a long time ago, and just to put a little context into this, SPB came up with the Mobile Shell interface for Windows Mobile. It was quickly uh, deemed as the best interface replacement for Windows Mobile out there. A lot of people liked it more than HTC Sense, and everyone was waiting for them to come out with their Android version, and this is what it's going to look like. Now, obviously, this may not be the final version, but it's darn close, and it's working really well. So let's talk about what we he have here. So basically, we have multiple home screens, but there's a lot of different things that really makes this different than what you get with Launcher Pro or uh, Sense for Android or things like that. So on a basic level, we have a variety of home screens with some really rich widgets that they've added. So here on the main home screen, I've just got some shortcuts. To the left, I've got the weather conditions, and we can flip through. Really nice looking weather animation, and we can adjust the settings to determine your city. Over here, we've got a really cool module from Flickr, and what it's doing is it's feeding in images uh, from Flickr, and you can actually use this to change your wallpaper. If you like to change your wallpaper a lot, what you can do is tap on an, uh, a wallpaper, click Set on as Wallpaper, you give it a second, it's gonna download it, and you have fresh wallpaper. Really cool here. Swipe to the left, we've got a simple time module, Going over to the right, we've got more shortcuts and more icons, but a lot of these are very much changeable. Let me show you. If you tap and hold on one particular item, you'll get a green arrow next to anything that can be changed visually. So if we press the green arrow on the clock, we'll kind of cycle through the different clock designs that we can have, which is really awesome to make thing cu things custom. Additionally, you can slide around these icons. They move around kind of like an iPhone, or you can bring one down here to delete. When you're done, you press the check mark and you've got them settled on something. Now this works with a lot of other widgets too. So if we go over here and we tap and hold on tools, we can change the tools widget to be a variety of different styles and, and functions. And also we can do that with the favorites. We can do that with the world clock. So a lot of flexibility that they've given you. And of course, the most visually stunning part uh, of Mobile Shell 5 for Android is when you go down here and you get this. Let me try to get that again. It's something cool to show your friends, perhaps not terribly usable in terms of day-to-day -day operation, but it's cool because you get a little wallpaper all the way in the background. You can kind of see in a very 3D immersive way uh, what your home screens look like. And something else you can do in this view, if we go down here to uh, manage panels, we have a really cool way of reorganizing the panels. So we can actually bring one down here, bring another down, kind of have a tray going, going on. And we can stop there and only have five panels, or we can bring them up and rearrange them as we see fit in this beautiful 3D interface, just a really well done. So again, this was just an exclusive first look at SPB Mobile Shell 5. It's looking awesome and we can't wait for it to be released so everyone can enjoy it. Uh, by the way, you've also got shortcuts here for the phone and for the web. And let's see if those are changeable. It doesn't look like they are uh, right off the bat. But from what we see here, it's looking great. It's looking to be a worthy uh, successor to what we saw in Windows Mobile with the earliest version of SPV Mobile Shell. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Hey, check that out. You get really cool 3D animations when you stay on some of these <laughs> uh, particular panels. That's it for now.